Okay, back in the chapter 5 of Ezekiel. It talks this. It says, Jerusalem will be destroyed. Because of God destroys Jerusalem because of their sins, of course. They wouldn't repent and turn back to God. And God sent the Babylonians into Jerusalem to destroy it and take Israel captive and send them back to Babylon. And verse 1 says, And you, son of man, and you O son of man, Take a sharp sword, use it as a barber's razor, and pass it over your head and your beard. And take balances for weighing and divide the hair. A third part you shall burn in the fire in the midst of the city. When the days of the siege are completed, and a third part of this is a third part of you shall take and strike with a sword all around the city. And a third part you shall scatter to the wind, and I will unsheath the sword at them. I mean, God's coming against Jerusalem with vengeance because of their sins. Um, verse, verse uh, three. And you shall take from these a small number and bind them in the skirts of your robe. And of these again, you shall take some and cast them into the midst of the fire and burn them in the fire. From there, a fire will come out into all the house of Israel. So God's gonna, you know, burn down Jerusalem. Thus says the Lord God, who is Christ, This is Jerusalem. I have set her in the center of the nations, with countries all around her, and she has rebelled against my rules by doing wickedness more than the nations and against my uh, rules more, more than the countries all around her. For they have rejected my rules and have not walked in my rules. Uh, your statutes which are rules. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Because you are more turbulent than, than the nations that are all, that are all around you, and have not walked in my statutes or, or, or obeyed my rules, and have not even ate or acted according to the rules of the nations that are all around you. Therefore, therefore thus to the Lord God, Behold, I, even I, am against you. God, God, God tells Jerusalem that, you know, he's tired, he's tired of their sins, he's tired of them disobeying him, and he's coming against them. He says, uh, I, even I, am against you, and I will execute judgment in your midst, in the sight of the nations, and because of all your abominations I will do with you, what I have never yet done, and, and the like of which I will never do again. Therefore, fathers shall eat shall eat their sons in, in, in your midst, and sons shall eat their fathers, and I will execute judgment on you. And any of you who survive, I will scatter to all the winds, meaning all across the world. And therefore, as I live, declares the Lord God, surely because you have defiled my sanctuary with all your detestable things. And with all your abominations, therefore I will withdraw. My eye will not spare, and I will have no pity. A third part of, a third part of you shall die of pestilence, which is disease, and be consumed with famine in your midst. A third, part, a third part shall fall by the sword all around you. And a third part I will scatter the, all the winds, and will unsheath the sword after them. Thus shall my anger spend itself, and I will vent my fury upon them, and satisfy myself. And they shall know that I am the Lord that I have spoken in my jealousy when I spend my fury upon them. Moreover, I will make you a desolation and an object of reproach or discipline among the nations all around you, and in the sight of all who pass by, you shall be a reproach and a taunt, a warning and a horror to the nations all, all around you. When I execute judgment on you in anger and fury and with furious rebuke, I am the Lord I have spoken. When I sin against you, the daily arrows of famine, arrows for destruction, which I which I will send, send to, uh, which I will send to destroy you, and when I bring more and more famine upon you and break your supply of bread, I will send a, I will send famine and wild beasts against you, and they will rob you of your children. Pestilence and blood shall pass through you, and I will bring the sword upon you. I am the Lord. I have spoken. So whatever God says, He does. God says He's going to destroy Jerusalem. And God's going to destroy it. He's going to totally just wipe it out because of its sins, because it's not repenting of its, of its sins, and not turning it, you know, and not turning back to God. So God's coming against Jerusalem. He's coming to destroy it. So that's chapter chapter five of Ezekiel, and I'll be back chapter, chapter six here shortly.